at what point did you know? I'm sure I know that you've talked about it a ton, but like I knew like to uh like I knew the moment basically the moment that we met. Like in so like when I I think I've said this before, but when I was proposing, mm-hmm. I made this video for her like kind of going through our whole relationship and cuz I was on the beach and every, our our families were all inside the house and I was waiting on the beach and she went inside the house they surprised her and she was confused and they were like watch this video and they all watched the video together mm-hmm. and the end slide was me basically being like you know but I've known the whole time and then it was a screenshot of a of a message that I sent to my to my friend in Australia and I was like it was like the th- the second time that we had hung out. So this was like three days after we met or something like that. And I was like, I met my wife. Oh my god! And and then and then it was like, come down to the beach. Like I want to ask you a question. That was like the light, the last thing on the thing. But so like that's just proof that like I I basically knew like right away. And for me it was like it's just like a, it's just like the the connection. Mm-hmm. Like, I knew, like, right away, it's like, oh, we have something. There's something here we just totally understand each other. And maybe it is, like, sense of humor, just personalities. But, like, that is so huge for me. Like, I cannot hang out with a person that I don't, like, you know, that that, that doesn't exist. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I just feel like I was dating people that I just didn't, that wasn't there. And I just it was, like, hard to hang out with them, you know? Totally. I just, I, that was like over and over and over again. It was like, oh man, I just like, I'm looking forward to this person leaving. Yeah. You know? Did you guys ever have any rough times? Any rough patches? Or yes. Just oh, yeah, easy? yeah. Really? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like what? Oh, we had That's some, very surprising. We had some, yeah, there was some, uh, definitely we've been through some rough patches for sure. Yeah. Um. You know, I don't know, like some like deaths and stuff and, and obviously COVID. Mm-hmm. Right, like that was like we had moved into this like tiny apartment together. That was like our first place, and then all of a sudden, COVID happened. So we went from being on tour, like touring the world, to like locked in a small apartment with just the two of you. Like that'll really test the relationship. Sure, that was generally great, but the, you know, there's like other things that happened, and um, so it definitely wasn't all like sunshine and happiness along yeah. the way. For sure, but I think like after those things happen, it's like it's like you know it's a reminder. It's like oh, we made it, we made it through that, and it was like didn't destroy us. Yeah, you know, I had, uh, but it's never it's never all easy, you know. No, of course, yeah. It's it's um, and if it is, I feel like that's worrisome. Sure, yeah, yeah. If it's too easy all the time, yeah, you need some conflict. You got to have some, because yeah. then you know how you handle adversity. Yeah, man, yeah. One one thing that um breakup tiktok is taught me because you know it's sending me all this shit it's that uh it, it it sounds like a um i don't know a trope or whatever but it's like oh you know love is choosing the person over and over and over yeah. you have to make the conscious choice through challenges and ups and downs you are actively choosing the person <clears throat> and not like throwing in the towel or giving up because that's what you do when you meet the right person, you know, and uh, yeah, that's a it's a tough one when you're when you're dealing with shit like COVID. And yeah, I'm looking back at some things where I'm like, oh, holy fucking shit, that was um, I still chose, and maybe I fucking shouldn't have because of yeah, like whoa, um, chose what person? Oh yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, that's that's what you do, you. Yeah, COVID was tough. Yeah, I, and I mean, like, also, COVID was tough. And then afterwards, I think it's like, you know, the pandemic was how long? Like two years? Depending on who you ask. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, like, then after that, it was like, I never really, I, I think there's, like, a lot of people still that, like, didn't, that haven't, like, digested, like, the damage that it really did. Sure. Like, to, you know, like, just our mental states. Like, mm-hmm. I think there's, like, a lot of things that people are still coping with that they don't even realize. And for me, it was, like, I was, like, massively, like, last year, I was, like, massively depressed. And, like, just, like, also, like, drinking way too much, too, because, like, in the pandemic, like, that's what I would do. Mm-hmm. And, like, that lasted, you know, and that, like, affects your just general emotional state. And I sure. feel like, I feel like that was really hard on our relationship, too. You um, drinking? Not me drinking, but, like, more, it just, like, not getting enough sleep, being sad, not not have feeling like I have a purpose. Yeah, it's like hard to connect 
you know, it's like one person can only be so supportive. Yeah. You know, not to say that she wasn't, but I'm just saying it's like, it's hard for me. You have to like feel like, especially for a guy, it feels like it's like, I have to like feel like I have like a purpose. Yeah. In order for me to like truly like give myself to, I don't know, it's hard to explain. No, but I hear you. It just was like, I just feel like we weren't connecting for a little while. But again, it's like, you just got to work that shit out. I had someone, um, <clears throat> I was in a relationship with someone who, uh, cause it, with that, with that woman who was nine years older than me, my big, big thing that she harped on many times was that I didn't show up for her. And I didn't really, I knew what that meant, but I also was like, yeah, what, what the fuck does that, what, what do you mean? But now I know, um, cause I was in some, I was in a thing and, uh, I was with this person and we were uh we were at uh, a climbing gym and I was I was encouraging her to like oh you know you got it you got the final move you got the final move and she was like I don't think I do and I was like you got it you got it and uh she slipped and she fell and sprained her ankle real bad and got really mad at me like it was my fault okay and I was like I felt terrible. I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry. Like I, I'm not up there. You, if you're going to, if you don't think you can do it, drop down. Like you've done that before where I'm going, Hey, you got it. You got it. Drop down. And, uh, she ended up having to wear a fucking boot and crutches for months and was really mad at me and was like, why did I listen to you? And why were you pushing me? And I was like, "Ah, I'm sorry. And then, uh, I was, I, I then was, um, so this is on the being, showing up and being a good boyfriend, b- being a good partner that I wasn't before. I was like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to go to the store. I'm going to get you some groceries and, uh, go to the store, come back. And this person's kitchen was always kind of in disarray and fridge was full of, uh, expired shit. It was really gross and it bugged the shit out of me so many times. I was just like, you know what? I'm cleaning your kitchen. I'm tired of this. And she's like, please don't. Just leave it. And I said, no, no, no. There's no room in your fridge anymore. I need to clean it. Cleaned it out. Cleaned out the cupboards and shit. And uh, just a bad stroke of luck, the very next morning, there was a rat infestation. Okay. And it became my fault again. (laughs) It was like... Wait, why? Why? You you tell me. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's never that. Everyone never, knows rats like a clean kitchen. Yeah. Well, what's funny is they it they ended up I ended up tracing tracing it back to her bedroom closet. There was a an earthquake go bag that they had chewed through and made their way into the kitchen. But uh, so again, I'm like, all right, you know what? No problem. This really sucks. My girlfriend is fucking temporarily handicapped. And uh, now she's got a rat infestation. But I was like, pack your bag. You're, you're coming and living with me. Like, let's go. And without even questioning it. Like, let's go. Took her back to my place. And uh, you would think that a person in that situation would be so endeared to, to their partner for, like, stepping up and doing what they need to do. She, uh, she accused me of somehow engineering these things to... You apartment trapped her to well to uh, to make her dependent on me, <laughs> and I I remember sitting there going, I, I I like wanted to make fun of her and be like, yeah, no, I was in the gym going fall, bitch, you got it, <laughs> fall, bitch, like ah, using my it's power. all going according to plan. Yeah, and then summoning the rats. I'm gonna leave little bits of peanut butter all over the fucking uh, trail of it to make. And I, it was one of those things where, yeah, at the time, I didn't think, I, I, I also wasn't, um, cause I with with this other relationship, I like had talked to my friends about it too much, and didn't. I just felt like I don't want to poison the well with anything anymore. I'm just gonna deal with my relationship problems privately, and so I didn't like talk to anybody about it. And I'm like, oh man. That was not a good, that was not a good thing. That was a, because uh, yeah, at the time I just thought, oh yeah, no, she's upset. But to be like, you are some kind of mastermind who 
<laughs> like your reaction, that that feels good. Your yeah, reaction no, was just absurd. like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, definitely. Um, so yeah, that was just, yeah, and uh, you did all that just so she would move in with you. Yeah, gotcha, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so it, it, that that's 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 a thing that I've learned. It's like okay, someone who you show up for, but also can like receive it yeah, and yeah. not and not um and not for some reason view you as like a fucking opposing force in their in their life yeah for whatever reason you know yeah 